I'm really happy to introduce Bill Whitford to you. Bill is part of my, my law education. Uh, he was one of the professors at UW Law School that I really appreciated. Um, he taught us what law can do and a lot of things that the law by itself cannot do and how it takes people power to do a lot of things. But he'll probably get into that later. Uh, he also taught my daughter, and she went on to an advanced degree and is now working for one of the, the largest native tribe in California. And I'm, I really believe that teachers like Bill influence our future generations. Thank you, Mary Kay, who's uh, done many, many wonderful things uh, throughout her life and is continuing to do so. And thanks for having me, and thanks for coming out on a stormy night. So I'm going to be talking off of that, and I'm going to be referencing these set of maps, which are actually prepared. There, you can get these online. The state prepares this map. Uh, this is a map of the assembly districts in the Fox River Valley. And I'll, I'll, I'll refer back to that to illustrate some of my points. Uh, let me get to what is partisan gerrymandering and how is it done? There are just uh, two tricks to creating a partisan gerrymandering, and they're called packing and cracking. Now, those terms sound like uh, colloquial kind of uh, backyard talk, but actually they become technical terms used in academic articles, court opinions, and the like. Uh, uh, packing means that the, let's assume, let's assume we have a legislature is trying to disadvantage one party and favor the other. All partisan gerrymandering shares that assumption. And I'm gonna use Republicans as the party that is enacting the, the districting scheme and Democrats as the ones they're seeking to disadvantage, which is what happened in Wisconsin. But I wanna make it clear, both parties gerrymander. Uh, maybe not in every time they get a chance, but both parties have gerrymandered. There are gerrymanders around the country that you could call Democratic gerrymanders. Wisconsin has a Republican gerrymander. But I'm going to talk about Wisconsin. So in packing, the Republicans seek to create uh, districts that have supermajority uh, of Democrats. They put Democrats, they pack them. In a, in, a, in a district so that no Republican could possibly win. If, if that district political uh, identity, as it were, was 80% Democrat, that would be happy. They'd be happy with that. The idea is to waste a lot of the Democratic votes because obviously you only need 50% of the voters to win the district. All the voters above 50%, their votes are in a sense wasted. Wasted in the sense that they don't contribute to the election of a Democrat to the state legislature. Cracking is a term that's used to describe taking the remaining Democrats, the ones that can't be packed for whatever reason, and there is an overriding that this is a constitutional requirement that all districts be equal in population and that they be contiguous so that you can walk theoretically at least from any, between any two places in the district. There not be uh, separated. Uh, so that limits how much packing can take place. So you take all the rest of the Democrats and you crack them. Crack them means you spread them out so they couldn't possibly elect uh, a Democrat in all those other districts. But you need to spread them out in order to achieve that. So in a crack district, there's typically 35 to 40% Democrats, 60 to 65% Republicans. But in a packed district, there'll be over 70% Democrats. And that's the case in Wisconsin. Virtually all, uh, all districts in, the, in Wisconsin where the majorities are in excess of 70% if the race is contested uh, are Democratic districts. Uh, I can illustrate all this uh, by the Fox River Valley, if you can turn to the map. What they did, this pattern went on all around the state. 
but this is the Fox River Valley. And uh, I didn't have to make the nice colors and everything. The state all did that. I just had to print it off the computer. Um, but uh, if we go up to Green Bay, you'll see Assembly District 90. That's Krasinski's district. Uh, is that right, Krasinski? Uh, that's a packed district. Republicans didn't run a candidate. I'm sorry. Republicans didn't run a candidate in 2018. Uh, surrounding it are three districts, 89, 4, and 88, all of which contain parts of Green Bay, but go out away from Green Bay so that the parts of Green Bay won't control the district. That's a crack district. Uh, even two and five might be thought of as part of the, but you people know the local geography here better than I do, but they, two and five include some of the kind of exurbs, as it were, of the greater Green Bay metropolitan area. You see the same thing in Appleton, and all these other districts are Republican, represented by Republicans at the moment four being the one that's uh, closest to being a contestable district. Now you go down to Appleton, there's a, crack, a pack district, number 57, which includes Lawrence College and parts of Appleton that are heavily Democratic, and includes the town of Menasha, which is Democratic. And that's a pack district, Republicans didn't run a candidate. And surrounding that district are three other districts, uh, 56, which kind of wraps around 55, you have to follow the color, 55, and three. And 55 and three, uh, all three of these districts take part of the greater Appleton area and then spread them out into the country so as, so as to that's cracking, taking some Democratic votes and, and combining them with more Republican votes. And three, uh, 55 and 56 are all Republican districts. And then we go further south to Oshkosh, do the same thing, 54 is the PAC district, downtown Oshkosh, the campus. Uh, Republicans did not run a candidate. In all three PAC districts in 2018, the Republicans did not contest. And then 53, as you can see, combines a little bit of Oshkosh and a bunch of the suburbs and then some countryside. That's a crack district. So those are the techniques of packing and cracking, and they're duplicated all across the state. Uh, there are pack districts up by uh, Duluth, Superior, uh, Duluth, I mean Superior, uh, Superior Bayfield. There's a pack district in Eau Claire. There's a pack district in downtown La Crosse. There's a PAC district in Janesville, a PAC district in Beloit, a PAC district in downtown Racine, a PAC district in downtown Kenosha, uh, lots of PAC districts in Madison and Milwaukee. Uh, there's even a PAC district, which is, uh, you'd have to be from Madison area, but there's a PAC district which considers Sauk Prairie, Baraboo, and Portage. They all put in one district. All three of those are Democratic towns. Surrounded by, that's a PAC district, not contested in 2018, so it's not a big city. Uh, surrounded by a series of crack districts.